Let me continue with the class children. In the previous session we have seen reproduction plants and animals. That is, what are the kinds of, what is reproduction? What are the kinds of reproduction? How the, what is the vegetative reproduction in the plants? Now we have to see sexual, asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Asexual means there is no sex involved. So there is no gametes. So any part of the, any part of the body are only either spore, not part of the body, spores, any spores, that is the plants produce the spores, by the spores they reproduce, that is known as what? Asexual reproduction. Now we have to see asexual reproduction in plants. Vegetative reproduction already we have seen. Now we have to say asexual reproduction. Plants reproduce asexually by the spores. That is production by single parent. Production by two parents involved only that is sexual. So single parent involved in the reproduction by producing spores, this is known as what? Asexual, pro, asexual reproduction. Take the terms, underline what is asexual reproduction. Production of an offspring, offspring means what? New uh, organism by a single parent without the formation and fusion of gametes is called asexual reproduction. Define asexual reproduction means what you have to write? Production of an offspring, offspring new organism by a single parent Without the formation and fusion of gametes is called asexual reproduction. That is gametes are not formed as well as there is no fusion also. Clear? The previous class I said fusion means dividing, fusion means joining. There is no fusion and no gametes formed. By producing spores by a single parent, reproduction occurs that is asexual reproduction. Here there is no mitotic, meiotic division, only mitotic division. The vegetative we have seen only mitotic division. In the asexual reproduction also, the cell division by mitotic, there is no meiotic. Mitotic division only, there is no meas, uh, meiotic division. For example, they produce by the spores. Example we want to give means fungi and bacteria. Fungi and bacteria both come under the plants. They reproduce by producing spores. During spore formation, structure called sporangium develops the fungal life. That is sporangium, seeds we have some flowers and all you see. Seeds will be formed in the spherical shape. The spherical shape sporangia will be the, from the sporangia spores are released and they develop into a hypha. So what is the plant body of asexual reproduction? Hyphae. I face the plant tower. They may ask, what is the cell body of spores? We have to write I face. They have nucleus and develops. For example, you see, spore formation rhizo, rhizo, rhizophus is given. It's a fungi. So that is the sporangium. The spores are released. From the spores, young mycelium or I face are sorted. Clear? Next, we have to go for sexual reproduction. Sexual, here I said single parent, here both the parents should involve. We have to see both the division that is my, meiotic, my, sorry, mitotic and meiotic. Both the divisions occur and gametes are formed. Gametes involve fusion of gametes. We will go for the sexual reproduction. Here two male gametes, two gametes. One is male, other one is female gamete. Here what has occurred? Fusion, fusion between male and female is known as asexual reproduction. Sorry, sexual reproduction. For example, you see flower. Uh, generally, it is in the practical form also. We have to take hibiscus flower or daughter of metal. Hibiscus, you know, simbarati, 
Dotra metal, umatampu. Whatever flower available, we have to do for the practical purpose. In the flower, we have to say four parts. How many, how many worlds in this? Four worlds. What are the four? One is calyx. Other one is corilla. Third one is androsium. And the fourth one is gynosium. For example, we are going for sexual reproduction. I said already what are the differences between sexual and asexual. Uh, then we, for example, you can think because we are seeing an, uh, the plant reproduction only. So what are the things? For example, flower. From the flower only we got the seeds. From the seeds we got fruits. This is reproduction. So what are the parts present in that? Calyx, Corilla, Androsium and Gynosium. Calyx, uh, here we can divide them into accessory or organs and reproductive organ. The calyx and corella directly they are not helping for the reproduction. They are indirectly helping but we, we have to consider them as accessory organ. Accessory means to beautify the flower. So these two are reproductive organ. This is not visible. Let me write here. What are the things I said? Calyx. First we have to see calyx. This is outermost part of the flower. Mostly in the green color. This is protecting the inner parts present in the plant. This is outermost. For example, calyx like this. Suppose if it is the flower, if it is the hibiscus flower. This is hibiscus flower. That is given LS. I am right. I am doing the entire one. The structure in the book we have seen LS. This is entire. Okay. This is entire. So this is calyx. What is the function of it? To protect the inner parts of the plant. And this is Corella. This is Corella. It is in the beautiful colors and seeing by attracted by the colors the, that is birds, animals, they used to sit on that and help in pollination. So Corella indirectly helping for the pollination, for reproduction. And calyx, it is the inner part, it protects the inner part, I said. Then ovary, which is the female part, is present inside the calyx only. Ovule, ovary, everything is present inside. Clear? Corella. And this one, androsium. This is the male reproductive organ. Here we can see, this is filament. This one is anther. It has two parts. Anther and filament. And next we have to see ovary, this is the entire I say no, ovary that is uh, gynosium, we have to say this is a female reproductive part, it has four, three parts in that, it is like this. This is ovary. In this we can see ovules. This is style. This is stigma. Stigma otherwise known as corpus. Okay, so what are the parts? Flower consists of four parts. Calyx, corella, androsium and gynosium. Calyx I said it protects the inner part mostly green in the color. So that is the ovary is present inside the calyx only. 
then corella it has beautiful colors that is petals otherwise we can say for example you are taking jasmine it is in white color if you are taking hibiscus it is in red color there are many hybrid varieties are there and rose flowers the petals are there you know that they are calyx so sorry corella corella is because of beautiful colors it attracts the insects birds and other thing and help in pollination and androecium it is male reproductive part it consists of only two parts one is filament on the filament you can see the spherical structure that is anther then gynoecium it consists of three parts that is female ovary inside the ovary we can see the ovule the style this is the stalk like on the corner you can see five carpels that is stigma or carpels according to carpels only the fruits will be presented by the flower clear now we have to go now we have seen the external structure of the plant parts now we have to go how they are helpful what is that is calyx and corella i said that is accessory parts there is no use of uh, they they are not helping directly to the reproduction they are helping indirectly and we have to go for androecium and gynoecium whereas androecium male means gynoecium female what are the parts then there are two stages involved in the reproduction one is pollination other one is fertilization let us see in detail shall we rub the board then this is over we have to go for other thing i hope that everybody stood understood this is one practical question i say dissection of flowers five marks for that that is nothing else you have to dissect the flower uh, you have to place the floral parts this is known as what floral parts calyx corella androecium and gynoecium is known as floral parts you have to separate them stick in the paper and you have to draw the same pictures nothing to learn only for dissection and drawing alone we have to get how many marks five marks and dotara metal also that is that is easy when compared with hibiscus but that won't be available during the practical time so we have to see we have to practice only from hibiscus now we have to see the internal structure of pollen grain first we have to see what is said androecium this is female i said uh, anther filament this anther is known as otherwise known as pollen grain uh, internally that is by cross section by cs that is cross section we have seen means it has two coverings one is outer covering other one is inner covering outer covering is known as exein and inner cover is in time uh, then there may be a question to you what are the differences between exein and in time exein it is outer cover of the pollen grain in time it is the inner cover of the pollen grain it is irregular in shape which one exein uh, in time that is regular in shape clear two points only we have tried now see the structure biology means you should be thorough with the thing this is outer cover it is regular in shape and this is inner cover it is this is in time this is exein stay the structure it is irregular this is regular inside the thing we can see vegetative nucleus generative cell generative cell for the fertilization it helps to us this is generative this is what i say vegetative nucleus okay this is the structure and we'll see pollen grain it's otherwise known as pollen grain usually spherical in shape spherical means what wrong two layer the hard layer is exen irregular it is a prominent aperture called jempu it is a small opening the inner layer is in time it's very thin mature pollen grain contains two cells one is vegetative nucleus other one is generative cell this both helpful they they used to fertilize with the vegetative cell and generative cell only so gynoecium it is the female part i said already it has ovary style stigma then structure of the ovule see the diagram the here ovule this first whenever you draw first you have to draw inside the thing that is here totally how many cells are there eight eight cells are there huh? 
year 3, year 3, year in between 2, year 3. Okay, after that you have to write new cellus. New cellus you have to draw some word pick. This is, this part is Salasa. And this one is, totally 8 I say no, this is antipodal. Altogether the center one is known as egg apparatus. This is secondary nucleus. This is integument, the both outer integument, inner integument. Integuments means what? Coverings. It is funicle. And this one, the opening is known as microfile. Otherwise known as gem 4 also. Okay, we'll go, we'll see the structure. The main part of the ovule is new cellus. New cellus, it is the food giving tissue. This one is what I say, new cellus. It is the food giving tissue for the new or developing embryo. There is a opening, the opening is known as microfile. The ovule is attached to the ovary wall by a stalk, it is known as funicle. Opposite the microfile, what is this? Salasa. The embryo sac contains seven cells and the eighth one is nuclei. And the, 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 these three cells form the microphyla and the egg apparatus and the three cells. The remaining two nucleus are polar nucleus, these two, huh? they are polar nucleus. In the egg apparatus totally how many cells are there? Eight cells. The last two, after the remaining these two, they know one is egg apparatus, other two are synergies. So pollination that is, fertilization occurs in two steps, sexual reproduction occurs in two steps. One is pollination and other one is fertilization. Pollination, what are the two stages involved in sexual reproduction means the first stage is pollination, second stage is fertilization. Pollination, the transfer of pollen grain from anther to stigma. The pollen grains are here, no, this pollen grain from anther to the stigma, entrance of pollen grain is known as what? Pollination. After pollination, the uh, what is it? Anther develops and the, they develop into a tube. The generative nucleus form, form, form along with the nucleus and enters into the ovule. It is known as what? Fertilization. Clear? Any doubts in this? What are the four parts of the flower? I said. First one is calyx. Other one is corella. Third one is androsium. Fourth one, gynosium. These two, what I say, they are accessory organ. It gives the beauty of the beauty to the flower. Androsium and gynosium. Androsium male part and gynosium female part. It consists of anther and filament. And then the structure of the pollen we have seen. Gynosium I say clearly. Further we will see in the next class. Thank you.